In today's short and sweet video, I want to show you how you can take a vocabulary practice sheet and upload it into Google Docs and then create a drop down menu for students to select their answers. So first I'm going to go to new and I'm going to upload a file that I previously downloaded and it is currently a Word document. So once I upload that file, I can open it and it's going to open it with Google Docs, but it's going to keep it as a doc file. If I want to change it to a Google Doc, I'm going to save it as a Google Doc right here. So right now I want to take this uh, list of words and I want to remove that list. I'm going to do it a little bit differently. So I want to insert a checklist. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to put the words in that I want the students to use in this lesson. Now that I have the words in a checklist form, when a student uses a word, they can simply check that word off their list. Now, we're going to talk about the drop down menu. So if I want to insert a drop down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go where I want to have this drop down added. And I'm going to go right here and I'm going to go up to insert and I'm going to go to drop down. Now I can create a new drop down. And in this drop down, I am going to first um, give it a title. So I'm going to call this uh, vocab. And then in this first box, I'm going to put insert right here. So now underneath that box, I'm going to put the words for the vocabulary. Now when I'm ready to add another option, I click on the plus or new option here at the bottom, and then I'm gonna go ahead and type in my last word. Now, once I have all my words in there, if I want, I can go and color code these words. So now that I have them color coded, I'm going to go ahead and save. And now you're going to notice that it does have the sentence and it gives them the insert as the first option. And then if they click on the down arrow, they can select the word that would fit their sentence. And then again, I'm going to go here and I'm going to insert my drop down and I'm going to do my vocab and then I'm going to get rid of this line. So now that we've added the inserts for each of these lines, I can now insert the vocabulary word that makes sense for my sentence and then simply check it off my list. So I'll just go through here and finish it up. And now I can go through and I can check everything off my list and I am done with my project. So once you have your vocabulary document done, you can now share this out through Google Classroom and make a copy for each student, or you can share this out with a link that forces a copy. So now you can consider using drop downs in your Google Docs for future assignments.